Hello everyone. Welcome to today's session on Android Framework Components. Uh, today we will see how to uh, push an APK into an engineering build. So if we want to use or install the particular APK which we have developed on uh, the user build, we have to sign that APK with the help of rele uh, release keys or platform keys or the uh, product keys. Okay. So uh, if we are a developer and for our testing purpose, for development purpose, when we are uh, developing any APK and we want to test the functionality of that particular APK, there are certain steps to be followed so that uh, we execute that APK in engineering build. So we'll see that today and also we'll see how to uh, launch an application via ADB shell today. Normally we go to the app drawer and launch the particular apps from there by clicking on the app. But here from the ADB shell, uh, what is the command to launch that particular application? We will see. So let's get started. Uh, what do we exactly learn in this session is uh, we'll see a sample application to set a system property in Android. Now I have a sample application to set some system property. So this should act as my um, application to set a system property and we'll see how to hide the application from the app launcher. Basically my application whatever I install on my device will not be visible as the other Android app icons because I'll show you all what setting we did to make our application invisible from the app drawer. Uh, then we'll see what are the steps to push the application to system prevap folder in engineering build. Later, uh, last, we'll see a command to execute the application from ADB shell. So let's get started. Uh, here is an application I wanted to show you all. Uh, so uh, there is a setting, system setting called haptic feedback. Okay, this haptic feedback, what it does is whenever I type something on my keyboard, a small vibration is generated to ensure that the user has pressed a particular key. So today what I'll be doing, I'm writing a simple application to just enable and disable that particular system setting. What we do here is uh, uh, we are just uh, creating a bundle and we are getting the key ID. Uh, why I'm writing this is uh, through the because we are launching this particular application via ADB and via ADB we are passing this value 0 or 1. So here is the place where we are collecting that particular value and if that value whatever I pass through the ADB if that value is 0 then I'm disabling the haptic feedback. If that value is 1, then I'm enabling the haptic feedback. Here I'm just using the content resolver and a system settings haptic feedback enabled. This is the standard system setting that I'm using. So you all get to uh, know more about uh, this particular intent used to start the application when I go to the demo part. So now basically just remember I'm passing some value. Zero means to turn off this feedback uh, option and one means to enable this feedback option. This I am passing through ADB shell so that uh, based on the value that I pass through my ADB shell that particular command will be executed. So uh, first point, we have we are done with the first point, right? So this is the application. I just uh, wanted to show you all uh, how to enable or disable haptic feedback. Second point, uh, I want this to be invisible. OK, I don't want this app to be visible along with other apps in my launcher or my home screen. For that, what I do, I remove the uh, intent filter property. So basically by default, uh, if we uh, write an application, we will have these intent filters and um, intent action main and launcher, right? So that part I am just removing. I'm just giving the activity and Android exported is true. So when I give this, my application will not be visible in my app drawer. Fine. 
so uh, we saw a sample application to set a system property how to hide the application so we have to remove the intent filter which contains the uh, intent main and the uh, launcher uh, category these two we have to remove next we'll see the steps to push the application to system prevap folder now whatever uh, apk i have generated that one directly i cannot use even on my engineering build i cannot execute because this particular application requires some system privileges this application is the app which i have written in android studio it's not a system application so even in engineering build we uh, to make it a system application we have to push that inside this system prevap folder and in order to do that there are certain steps to be followed only once i push this apk in this folder this apk will be uh, getting all the required permissions to execute as a system application because i am doing the changes in the settings application which is the system app so uh, those steps we'll see now let me connect my device so i have connected my device to my laptop now uh, before moving on to the steps i just want to show you all uh, which setting i am talking about so uh, let me open my device and if i go to settings application under settings i need to go to sound and under sound advanced settings and the last option whichever you all can see here touch vibration so haptic feedback for tap keyboard so what this will do is uh, whenever i type something on my keyboard whenever i type on a particular key a little minute vibration is generated to ensure to the user that uh, some key is typed okay this is the particular setting which i am trying to enable and disable right now it is off i uh, so with my application with my system app i'm trying to enable or disable this particular setting so this is the setting i want to enable or disable i wanted to show you all this one so, okay so let's move on to the adb command yeah uh, we need to follow certain steps in order to push this uh, apk as a system application right so uh, first uh, i have opened my command prompt here and i am running adb root after running adb root let me open my uh, notepad where i have stored all the commands we have to execute adb disable verity so adb disable verity okay why we have to execute this adb uh, disable verity this is a kernel feature and it ensures that my device is in the sta uh, same state as the earlier so because this is a rooted device i mean engineering device here i am uh, taking an example on engineering device so if it was a user de uh, device what would happen i would sign this apk with my product keys or platform keys and i would give it to the user user need not perform all these particular steps because that key is certified and uh, signed but since i am using an engineering uh, device to test the functionality i have to follow these certain steps so disable verity if, uh, this particular uh, tag ensures that my device since it is rooted no features are compromised it is staying in a good state so uh, it's telling verity disable on and it's telling reboot your device so now i'll be rebooting my device adb reboot okay uh, now since my device is up and i'm pushing something i mean i'm pushing the apk which i wrote into the uh, system prevap folder i need uh, some i need to do this uh, adb remount command so this remount first we have to run adb root then we have to do adb adb remount okay only when uh, once i do this uh, adb remount command i will be able to push any apk into the system partition or any uh, partition in my device so here i have to use adb push followed by my apk 
So my APK is this one. And I'm pushing it to system slash prevap folder. Okay, now my APK is pushed into system slash prevap folder. I have done uh, one session explaining uh, what is the importance of APK pushed in this particular prevap folder and what is the difference between system app folder as well as system prevap folder. You all can go through that video. I'll put that link in this particular description to understand more on system prevap partition. Now once I have pushed my APK, what is the next step? I have to give a chmod permission. So permission to that particular APK I need to provide. So adb shell chmod, I'm giving permission for that to be executed. So the APK is there in my system prevap folder and the APK name is haptic underscore feed pack dot APK. So I'm giving the permission now. So I'm set. Okay. Now I'm done with it. Now my APK will act as a system application. It has all the privileges now to execute the system settings. What we did, we did ADB root, we did ADB disable variety to make sure my device is in a good state. And then I rebooted my device. Again, I did ADB root, I remounted. Why I should do this? Because I need to um, give permission. I need to push this particular file. So whenever we are pushing any file to the device, to any partition in the device, we have to give this remount okay which will give the right permissions and after that i'm pushing the apk to system prevap folder and uh, then i'm giving the chmod command i'm giving the permission through chmod command now again i have to reboot my device so uh, my device started booting now now my app whatever i wrote to change the haptic feedback values will be a system application okay uh, now we have successfully installed our application as system application in our engineering device now as i already told you this app will not have ui okay uh, that is if i uh, open my device and if i go through the apps this app will not be there in this app launcher uh, how i need to because this app will be installed on the device as a system application it will not be there in your app launcher there are multiples of uh, such applications which will keep running in the background uh, as system applications but they'll not have a definite UI right so this is one such kind now what we have to do we have to launch this particular application via ADB shell so as I already told you uh, I'll be doing this via ADB shell so let me take the command okay let me copy paste So uh, let me explain this command adb shell am start so this is basically used to launch or to uh, start any application via adb shell so adb shell am start minus n followed by we have to give the package name of the application slash and the class name which we are trying to launch here I'm trying to launch just the main activity so I have just given a package name dot main activity which will be treated as my class name and I was already told you I'm passing the extras EI that is the extra value I'm passing and integer value I'm passing and the ID I have defined is one okay so in my app uh, in my uh, app i already showed y'all if i pass one it's enabling this particular setting if i pass zero it's then disabling this particular setting so let me give enter and it started the intent now let's go to the device and check if this particular feature is set so let me go to settings sound advanced and we can see my setting haptic feedback setting is enabled what will happen if i pass zero 
so once i pass 0 it is disabled again i'll pass it as 1 its screen is getting refreshed and it's enabled i'll pass it as 0 it's disabled so this is how uh, it works so what we learnt in this session we wrote a simple application uh, to change the system settings system settings android system settings of haptic feedback to enable or disable this particular button i told you what haptic feedback does if it is enabled whenever we click on the keypad any key vibration will be generated if it's disabled there will uh, not be any vibration generated then we actually uh, saw how to uh, make this app invisible that is make it run in the background later we saw the steps to push this application into the engineering build to make it a system application the steps to uh, push it into the system prevap folder finally we saw what is the intent followed by uh, what extra value should be used how to use the intent and extra value to launch this particular application so now once i'm clear that this app is working fine i can go ahead and make it a release apk and give it to the customer these are the four steps we uh, learned in today's session i hope it was informative and helpful with that we come to end of today's session uh, today's question will be what is the command used to launch an application from adb shell we have to use adb shell am start minus n followed by package name of the application slash followed by class name in class name what we have to write the activity which we want to launch so this much if we do that's enough your extra work which i have done is passing the extra values also as a bundle so extra value minus e hyphen hyphen e we have to give and if it's an integer i'm using i because i'm passing one or zero which is an integer and followed by id and zero or one so this is a simple uh, command to start your application via adb shell without any ui With that, uh, we'll come to an end of today's session. So I hope this uh, session was informative and you all learned something new. Stay tuned with my uh, upcoming sessions to learn more on Android framework components. Until then, everyone take care. Bye.